And good evening. When traveling around Bakersfield, homelessness is a common sight to see. The Bakersfield Kern Regional Homeless Collaborative says that as of this February, there were roughly 1,600 homeless people here in the city. In an effort to curb the local homelessness issue, Golden Empire Affordable Housing has opened a new housing development. The project also providing low-income families with affordable housing. Here's 23 ABC's Brianna Polk, who was at the grand opening today. Well, as you can see here right behind me are the Pioneer Cottages, which is a new construction of affordable housing development in East Bakersfield. And the facility was created to help community members who need assistance. A project that has been in the works for four years has finally come to life on Thursday. We all know that affordable housing is a, is a real challenge. It felt like Bakersfield was affordable and Kern County was affordable for a long time. It's not as affordable as it used to be. Those concerns are what sparked the vision for this new affordable housing development right off of Oswell Street and Pioneer Drive in East Bakersfield. The planning began back in 2018 and was set in stone to serve households with income levels at or below 60% of one area median income. Stephen Pell's executive director of Housing Authority County of Kern tells 23ABC that while market rate housing is needed in our area, so is affordable housing to ensure that more residents have a roof over their heads. However, Pell says prior to executing this project, they overcame quite a few hurdles. It's been a challenge. It always is developing affordable housing, but particularly through the pandemic, it took us four years to get to today. Uh, a lot of trials, a lot of hurdles, a lot of delays, but we're so excited to be here and celebrate uh, new affordable homes for our families in need. Pell says the Pioneer Cottages feature nine one-story garden-style fourplexes containing 36 one-bedroom units. And all units are energy efficient with a refrigerator, stove, dishwasher, microwave, and solar power to offset energy costs. Stacy Kuwahara, Director of Kern Behavioral Health and Recovery Services, says tenants will also have access to on-site services provided by their organization. Very excited to be working on site and to be doing the work that we need to do that is going to help make our residents here successful. The Pioneer Cottages will also provide interactive resident services such as adult education classes, skill building classes, and many other activities that Pels believes will help create their very own community on site. And that's really what we want. We want stability for them. We don't want them back out on the streets. And Pels adds that 18 of these units are set aside for individuals experiencing homelessness eligible under the No Place Like Home program and that tenants are expected to move in within the next two weeks. In East Bakersfield, I'm Brianna Polk, 23ABC News, connecting you. And the cost of housing is one of several factors leading to homelessness in Kern County. So how is the housing market in Bakersfield looking and in which areas of town are homes more expensive? We took an in-depth look at data compiled by the real estate site Neighborhood Scout and have some of those answers for you tonight. According to Neighborhood Scout, the most expensive neighborhood to live in is Rosedale West. That's an area bordered by Stockdale Highway to the south, Heath Road to the east, Rosedale Highway to the north, and Enos Lane to the west. The average real estate price in that area is more than $818,000. And the average rental price in Rosedale West is currently just below $2,000 a month. Overall, out of all neighborhoods, the average home price in Bakersfield is more than $323,000.